our first stories titled, Am I the a-hole for not giving my family a second chance? 34 male here, and not in the US. This February, I was falsely labeled of inappropriate behavior of the nth degree by a subordinate of my team at my workplace. Why? She was not a good employee, and I knew I was going to write a negative report that would lead her to her getting fired. She thought this was the best way to prolong the inevitable. A lot of news of such nature were floating around where bosses or superiors took advantage of juniors and to avoid all that, my company decided quick justice was the way to go and without an investigation, fired me. News of it spread around and my ex-teammates looked at me in disgust. I lived in my family home with my parents, wife and older brother's family and I was forced to leave because I was ashamed to them and society around us in general. All of them refused to believe me, and I get it, most of the people involved in such cases are all seemingly innocent. What hurt most was that my parents of 34 years, wife of 6 years, and girlfriend slash fiancé for 10, my office for 5, thought I was not worth listening to. The light in all of this were my younger sister and my brother-in-law who had enough faith in me to know that I was innocent and took me in. They are both lawyers and said they would help me clear my name. It was a long and grueling process and no thanks to the great Rona that getting court dates were difficult. It was even more difficult that the event I was accused of happened outside the office in an area with no cameras. It was not especially helpful that my wife started posting stuff about betrayal and things are not what they seem. Plus, how my brother and sister-in-law were posting about living with the lowest trash. Eventually, the loops in the accuser's story and my alibis helped clear me of charge and now I am suing her for defamation. I got my company fined for their quick justice and they offered a settlement for not pursuing a case against them which I obviously took since I am not going back to work in hell. It has been a month since then. I am set to move in a new apartment near my sister's place and will be freelancing for a while. Oh, and I have also decided to cut off the toxic part of my family and divorce my wife. I am livid for what they did. Parents and brothers are sorry for what they did and want another chance. Soon-to-be ex-wife asked me to reconsider for the sake of our child, who I plan to take custody of. They are now guilt-tripping me to forgive them and have involved relatives to talk me out of doing something absurd. I am pretty dead set with my decision. As my sister says, she will support whatever I choose, as long as I do not regret it. I understand such cases are difficult and we have a long way to go but does that mean every single good deed will be negated by some baseless accusation of such degree? I choose to give my blood the benefit of doubt. My family thinks I should understand the pressure they were in and just forgive and forget. Am I the a-hole? Now let's read the top comments of this post. Not the a-hole. Your family should be there to support you and they should know you are not a person to do such things. For F's sake, the family stood by Brock Turner's side and he did a horrific thing with witnesses. These people just trusted a word of a random person against you. You don't need such people in your life. Just to jump on this and add, what Brock Turner did was horrific and the fact that his family stood behind him despite his acts being witnessed isn't a credit to them. At all. I love my family, but if one of them did what that evil scumbag did, I would cut them out without argument. The difference here was that there were no witnesses to Opie's alleged behavior. His family had zero faith in his innocence and didn't support him in his fight to clear his name. Why did his wife marry him if it was so easy to believe him capable of what he was accused of? Not the a-hole. So, why do they want you back? Because they love and support you? No, they already made that much clear. So, what's the reason? You bring two solutions to two problems. You have money to contribute to the household and you can help with the kid. They're not interested in you. They're only interested using what you can do for them. Stay away. Maybe someday, but not anytime soon. Or also the shame of people knowing that they abandoned their son slash husband and treated him appallingly not only amongst themselves but to the community. The fact he was proven innocent looks poorly in their judgment and loyalty. For some people, appearances are everything and they live by the mantra of what will people say. This is exactly why I am doubly so angry. Not a great state of mind to think with. My parents thought as siblings one thing and when the conditions lined up, they went and did the opposite because society. I do admit our justice system is bad, and more often than that, the scum get away with a lot. But dear lord, at least believe your son who had his first kiss on his 20th birthday. That too on the cheap. That's our first story. The next one is titled, Am I the a-hole for leaving after my husband for inviting his parents to our first wedding anniversary? Me, 26 female, and my husband, 25 male, got married a year ago. 
I'm the kind of person that really likes celebrating special occasions that are important to me. Before my husband and I got married, he promised to take us somewhere nice on our first wedding anniversary. And since my wedding was an absolute disaster, thanks to my in-laws, mother-in-law to be specific, I saw this as a chance to have another special day to celebrate my relationship with my husband. But things have been rough the past few months. I'm five weeks pregnant and our whole plan changed. My husband suggested we have a dinner at a nice restaurant that his mom picked for us. Huh? And recommended. Okay, now she's trying to get involved this year too. Anyways, he showed me pictures and the type of food they serve and asked me to pay. It's an expensive restaurant. I suggested we pick another but he insisted. I agreed and once we got there, I found that the menu wasn't there which was weird because I was ready to order. About 15 minutes of my husband stalling, his parents walked up to our table dressed nicely and sat with us. I looked at my husband for an explanation, but he avoided me to tell his mom that the food he wanted was ordered ahead. His mom immediately made backhanded comments about my hair, dress, weight and didn't stop. I was literally mad. She and her son started drinking while my father-in-law started talking to me about politics. The final straw was when she cancelled the cake I wanted and replaced it with the one her husband liked. I got up, told my husband to hand me the keys or I was going to walk. He tried to calm the situation. That's when his awful mom started talking about me acting inappropriately. She told her son to just hand me the keys because she didn't want me to embarrass her. I left. An hour later, my husband came home, started berating me for overreacting and ruining dinner. I yelled at him what the F was he thinking inviting his parents. He said he paid for it so he had to invite them. Started arguing saying that he saw nothing wrong with what he did. He didn't even tell me and argued about how I was being awful to his family. I went to my mom's after he insulted me, and I've been feeling bad ever since. His mom texted me, but I ignored her. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. But why did you get married to him in the first place? Also, unless he commits to serious couples counseling and working on demeshing himself from his mom, you might not want to be married much longer. A marriage should compose of two people, not three or four. At least, not if the extras are parents of the couple. If you're religious, you could also quote the scripture, Genesis 2.24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Or, Ephesians 5.31. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. NKJV. If it was me, I'd leave him now before having a life of regrets. This. He sounds like a wimp without a backbone who'd rather berate his pre wife than stand up for her to his parents. OMG, I totally read over the part that she's five weeks pregnant. He's such a spineless piece of... Not the a-hole. So, my in-laws were similar. My husband did what some of your husband did. And we're still married ten years and two kids later, so I hope you listen to my advice. Number one, marriage counseling ASAP. Number two, find a trusted family member on your husband's side if possible, to tell him his parents are bad crap crazy. Number three, individual therapy for you. For everything that is going, and to also decide how to proceed with your pregnancy. You are only five weeks along, and you have options. I really hope it gets better. I doubt if he'll ever realize that still having his mom doing things slash paying for things is not acceptable. She uses this as a way to control him slash us. They showed up without him saying anything because they paid for the dinner. So they thought they could hold this over our head and expect me to just smile and accept being disrespected like that. It's my first anniversary. This is the very first time I experienced this and she, mother-in-law, ruined it. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for being upset and leaving when my sister-in-law stole my pregnancy announcement? I, 36 female, found out that I'm pregnant. I am overjoyed as I have always wanted a child of my own. I focused on my career and my life and since I am single, I wasn't sure if having a baby would ever happen. I was excited to tell my family the big news. My older sister has one child, my nephew, seven male. My brother is married but he and his wife have made it very clear they will always be child free. Last night, we had a family dinner and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share the news. Since this will be my only child and I wanted to make it special and I also wanted to involve my nephew. I got a shirt that read, this is what an awesome big cousin looks like. I slipped away with my nephew before dinner and had a special moment with him while Al told him he was going to have a cousin. My nephew was very excited and put on a shirt. He put his sweater on over it and I told him he could take the sweater off whenever he wanted at dinner. In the middle of dinner, he took off the sweater and waited for someone to notice. 
Soon, my sister jumped up and excitedly screamed when she saw the shirt. They all then immediately assumed it was my sister-in-law. I wasn't hurt by them assuming this, and I kind of expected it because she is married. I was hurt because my sister-in-law didn't try to correct them. She just went along with it and began to rub her flat belly while laughing. I must have looked completely hurt because my mother yelled at me to stop being rude and to congratulate them. I tried to explain that I was the one who gave my nephew the shirt. They all didn't even hear me and just continued to fawn over my sister-in-law. My brother stood frozen in shock, just asking his wife if she was serious. I got up and went home. I received multiple texts at this point from them telling me what an a-hole I am for making this about me. They said things like it wasn't my sister-in-law's fault that I was jealous. I didn't reply to anything and just cried myself to sleep. This morning, my sister-in-law must have finally let it slip that she is not pregnant. They have now all called me to apologize saying that they just got caught up in the moment. They said I shouldn't have left the dinner and that it's my fault I wasn't clear enough that I was the one who is pregnant. My mom said I could have a redo dinner so I can get it right and they will all act surprised. My sister-in-law sent me a message that said that the way I chose to announce was how she wanted to do it if she ever got pregnant. She said that since she is not ever having a child, that she just wanted to experience what the moment would be like. She also said I can have my chance at the redo dinner. I told them no, and that I will not be doing a redo. Every single person has now told me I am being selfish and an a-hole because I won't let them make it right. To me, there's no fixing this. I will eventually forgive them, but I don't want to do a second announcement so they feel better. Am I the a-hole? Now let's read the top comments of this story. Wow, I don't blame you for being peeved. Your sister-in-law should never have played along. Not the a-hole in my book. I wouldn't do the redo as it would be more about appeasing their guilt rather than being an exciting time for you. That's exactly how I feel about it too. Give it some time. Celebrate with them when you're ready to. There's nothing wrong with taking a step back. They were very quick to jump to the conclusion that you were being selfish. What the actual hell? Your family actually turned this around and made you the bad guy? Your sister-in-law is a piece of work, alright, but dear God. Your parents actually sided with her. Jesus. Not the a-hole. F them. This. What the hell is right? She will never experience this. Apparently, Trump's your one time actually experiencing that announcement. You have a family full of a-holes and you definitely are not one. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. So, she wanted the attention. She pretty much pretended to be pregnant, which is so weird. This was supposed to be a happy moment for you and your family and she hijacked it. And that's the end of the video, folks. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want more content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone.